Never regret whatever happened in life. Good things give you happiness and bad things give you learning. Namaskar. Welcome to Next IS. I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to cover major species जो कि अभी recently news में हैं and they are also relevant for UPSC. So without wasting any time, let's start today's discussion with Iberian wolf and it is in the news. Because according to recent study, Iberian wolf has been extinct in the region of Andalusia, which is an autonomous territory of Spain, and it consists of eight provinces. As you can see here, this is the image of Iberian wolf. Now let's know more about Iberian wolf. So friends, its scientific name is Canis lupus signatus, and it is the species of grey wolf native to the Iberian Peninsula. comprising spain and portugal iberian wolf like other types of grey wolf lives in packs that are territorial and hierarchical which is led by a dominant breeding pair now let's learn some facts related to grey wolves so friends its scientific name is canis lupus and they are the largest wild members of canidae family they are found in north america europe and asia and iucn red list classifies them as least concern they are also included in appendix 2 of sites except populations from bhutan india nepal and pakistan which are listed on appendix 1 now let's know about desiccation tolerant vascular plant and it is in the news because new study discovered 62 desiccation tolerant vascular plant in india's western ghats with potential applications in agriculture and conservation and in the inventory of 62 species 16 are indian endemic and 12 are exclusive to the western ghats highlighting western ghats importance as a global desiccation tolerant hotspot Now let's know more about the plant. So friends, they are able to withstand extreme dehydration, losing up to 95% of their water content and they revive themselves once water is available again. This unique ability allows them to survive in harsh arid environments that would be uninhabitable for most other plants as you can see here. These are the images of desiccation tolerant plant. These plant varieties are found in both flowering and non-flowering species and in both temperate and tropical climates and the global population of these species ranges between 300 and 1500. They are spread mainly in rock outcrops and partially shaded tree trunks inside the forest. Now let's know about the utility of these plants. So friends they are studied for their possible applications in agriculture particularly in areas with limited water resources and genes of these plants could be used to create a high temperature tolerant variety of crops to improve climate resilience and ensure food security for the masses now let's know about spotted doves and they are in the news because recently it has been observed that hundreds of spotted doves died due to poisoning in assam spotted doves are small and look like a long tailed pigeon its scientific name is streptopelia chinensis and it is found in open grasslands gardens parks and in urban area sitting on electricity wires they are often tamed and approachable and breeding season is usually spent in warm regions they are native to india and asia and they are also found in other parts of the world due to human intervention and they also play very important role in ecosystem for example The presence of these birds in crop fields creates a balanced ecosystem, promotes biodiversity and minimizes crop losses in an organic and natural way. They also assist in pollination and regeneration of many plant species that are consumed by humans. Now let's know about western tragopan and it is in the news because western tragopan has been facing habitat loss in parts of india this is the image of western tragopan and its scientific name is tragopan melanocephalus it is also known as the western horn tragopan and it is amongst the rarest of all living pheasants which is locally known as jojurana or king of birds 
and do you know friends it is a state bird of himachal pradesh it is endemic to the northwest himalayas within a narrow range from north pakistan and in india it is found in jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and western part of uttarakhand it is threatened by habitat loss and anthropogenic disturbances which includes livestock grazing minor forest produce collection like medicinal herbs etc and all these compounding factors along with the increasing fragmentation of population have led to the inclusion under vulnerable category of the international union for conservation of nature red list now let's know about ludwigia peruviana and it is in the news because ludwigia peruviana is threatening elephant habitats and foraging areas in valparai which is a hill station of tamil nadu located within the anamalai tiger reserve close to the kerala border this is the image of ludwigia peruviana now let's know more about ludwigia peruviana to so friends it is an aquatic weed which is native to some countries in central and south america including peru it grows fast along water bodies and do you know friends it is among 22 priority invasive plants in tamil nadu it was probably introduced as ornamental plant for its tiny yellow flowers but it has infested the majority of hill station swamps which are locally known as vayals where elephants used to find lush grass even in summer and now it is reviving the risk of human elephant conflicts in the region therefore there is a need to urgent map all the swamps in valparai and the focus should be on containing the spread by preventing invasion in swamps where smaller number are coming up now let's know about salnofia personcy and it is in the news because recently scientist uncovered a 150 million year old fossil of salnofia personcy which is a turtle it is an artistic reconstruction of salnofia personcy in its late jurassic environment now let's know more about salnofia personcy to so friends it is a marine turtle with shorter limbs that lived approximately 150 million years ago during the jurassic period it lived in a network of coastal reefs and lagoons which were abundant in diverse coastal ecosystems it has massive head and swam through a shallow tropical sea in what is now europe it was adapted to swim closer to the shore rather than venture hundreds of miles into the open ocean now in the last let's know about tiger and elephant and they are in the news because recently government merged project tiger and project elephant and a common allocation will fund both the projects beginning this year and the administrative setup for the two projects will continue to exist separately only funding is to be merged and a new division project tiger and elephant division has been notified under the ministry of environment forest and climate change Now let's learn some facts related to tiger its scientific name is panthera tigris and it is a striped animal out of eight races of the species known the indian race royal bengal tiger is found throughout the country except in northwestern region and also in the neighboring countries nepal bhutan and bangladesh and iucn red list classified panthera tigris as endangered species and to increase the population of the tiger in the country project tiger was launched in 1973 from jim corbett national park in uttarakhand now let's learn some facts related to indian elephant its scientific name is elephas maximus and it is found in the central and southern western ghats northeast india east india northern india and in some parts of southern peninsular india it is included in the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act 1972 and in appendix 1 of sites and do you know friends it is regarded as a national heritage animal of india and iucn red list classifies elephas maximus as endangered species and for protection of elephants and their habitats project elephant was launched in 1992 
as centrally sponsored scheme to provide financial and technical support to major elephant bearing states so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening be happy be nice